Ping Pong with a Robot Google DeepMind has shown a robot that can play table tennis. The robot trained and powered by artificial intelligence algorithms presents the level of a good amateur and is able to beat average players. Robots are becoming a part of our everyday lives. In many homes, they already help with cooking or cleaning. Now, a robot has been shown that can be a partner in a game of ping pong. It does not present any particularly high level but it is able to beat a novice. Apart from the elements of fun and sport, the robot is an important step towards achieving human-level performance in terms of accuracy and speed, because current machines have a big problem with reacting quickly in a dynamic environment. The research was published in the AR14 preprint database and has not yet been peer-reviewed by experts. DeepMind is a company associated with Google and has considerable achievements in creating advanced algorithms. A few years ago, their AlphaGo program defeated a Go champion several times. Another of their ace, known as AlphaStar, outperformed 99.8% of human players in the real-time strategy game StarCraft II. What's more? Their off-fold algorithm has determined the probable structures of nearly every protein known to science. Now, DeepMind researchers are trying to create a machine that could match humans in speed and efficiency at real-world tasks. A table tennis robot is a step in that direction. Table tennis is a challenging sport that requires players to train for years to reach an advanced level. The game requires complex movements, quick hand-eye coordination, and advanced strategies that adapt to your opponent's strengths and weaknesses. These aspects set Ping Pong apart from strategic games like Chess, Go, and StarCraft II. It seems that DeepMind researchers are well on their way to achieving their goal. Their robot performs at the level of a serious amateur in Ping Pong. DeepMind researchers have connected their learning algorithms to an industrial robot arm. They used neural networks that mimic the way the human brain processes information to gradually learn new things. The system was trained to master specific aspects of the game. These include the rules of the game, but also how to apply progressive spin to the ball, how to perform forehand serves or backhand attacks. The system was trained on real and simulated data. During the training, the researchers collected data on the strengths, weaknesses, and limitations of the algorithms. They then fed this information back to the system, giving it an idea of its skills. In simple terms, the system is a combination of a skill library and a controller. The library contains a variety of techniques that can be used during a table tennis match, such as serves and attacks. The controller uses the descriptions of these skills, integrated with data on the progress of the game and the skill level of the opponent, to select the optimal one that is within its capabilities. Playing against 29 human opponents, the system chose which skills or strategies to use at any given time, taking into account its own and its opponent's strengths and weaknesses, just as a human would do in a game of table tennis. The robotic arm with DeepMind's algorithms beat all the novice players and just over half of the intermediate players, but was crushed by the advanced players. The DeepMind robotic arm did have some weaknesses, though. For example, it had trouble with high balls and backhand attacks. It also used forehand shots more often.